New York's new hit music channel. 92. 92. now. Hey there, my name's Eric Dolan. I'm the music director here at WPSC 88.7 FM, Brave New Radio. Now we all love radio. We listen every day on our way to school, on our way to work. We got brand new music, juicy celebrity gossip, engaging DJs, but have you ever wondered what goes into the creation of radio? Well, Steve Pereira is a senior here at William Patterson. His job outside the classroom is anything but your regular nine to five workday. You see, Steve is the nighttime producer at New York's number one hit music station, 92.3 Now. Steve was nice enough to take us behind the scenes, show us how radio gets created. And let me tell you, you're in for a big surprise. Stuck in traffic, going into work. This is how it is every day, Monday through Friday. Um, I pay $100 to go through the toll. And then I just sit in here and uh, hopefully I'll make it work. As if working in the city wasn't stressful enough, no one likes a commute into the heart of New York City during rush hour traffic. And how could I miss the gigantic wall of fame filled with celebrity autographs like Snooki from the Jersey Shore, artists like Jake Miller, Pitbull, The Wanted, and even electronic dance music artists like Zed, Avicii, Calvin Harris, Will I Am, Rita Ora, and Cruella. She's so tonight. And as long as I got my suit and tie, I won't leave it all on the floor tonight. So basically, this is where I spend all my time. Um, when it comes to putting in music or anything like that, I grab it off a server or off something, and I'll just put it into Audition, which is this program right here. And I'll save it, and what I do is I'll send it over to this computer. And the show prep begins in the production room, where all the latest music, news, and celebrity gossip is constantly updated. There is even an Excel spreadsheet to put down every single song request from your listeners. I took a peek at the list, and it seems like the Demi Lovato track Heart Attack and Justin Bieber's Right Here are topping the charts. But how can we forget those live late night mix shows that we all love to listen to before a night out with our friends? Steve finally gave us the grand tour of the main studio where it all comes to life. In here, you can find a computer with a live feed of incoming text messages for shout outs and requests. There is a computer displaying the order of PSAs, promos, and of course, the music. I was lucky enough to catch DJ Toro give away tickets to go see Alicia Keys, and you wouldn't believe what goes down once those phone lines open up. Caller number 90. <laughs> Meredith, you're caller 92, girl! <laughs> you are going to go see Alicia Keys live at the Prudential Center. Congratulations. Thank you. You are very welcome. Hold on a second, okay? Okay. Uh, two seconds. She's going to tweet about it. She's going to Facebook about it. And basically... Every social media thing that she has, she's gonna post on and uh, tell her that, or tell everyone that she just wants to get on 92. What's up, it's your boy Toro. So, you're talking a little bit about Steve. Let me tell you something about Steve. Steve used to be known as Portuguese Paulie D when he first came into the station. And if you find some old pictures of him, you're gonna know exactly why his hair was so high, we could actually put a Snapple bottle on it to make it stand up. But uh, Steve has a very, very bright future ahead of him. He's been here since almost a couple of years now, started off as an intern, worked his way up on the street team, worked with me late at night so I could train him for this time right now. So he could be a producer in New York City for a prime time slot. I also got the exclusive tour to see what else CBS Radio had to offer. And who would have thought that one giant engineering room was in control of various stations like Fresh 102.7, WFAN Sports Radio, 1010 wins, CBS News 880, and of course, 92.3 Now. So this is 92.3 Now, this is my job, I love it, listen to us, Monday through Friday, 6 to 10, yeah, thanks. Oh. I'm gonna pop some tags, only got $20 in my pocket, I'm, I'm looking for... 
for a come up. This is in my soul. Now, walk into the club like, what up? I got a big. I'm just pumped. I bought some from a thrift shop. Ice on the fringe.